Gardens is one of America's premier RV communities, and it really is. Um, to begin with, there's very few true RV communities that were developed from the ground up as an RV subdivision. Uh, these subdivisions are very unique. It takes some special consideration to file. And unlike a lot of, uh, maybe you, you've had some campgrounds or some parks in the country that sell a couple of lots off the backside and you can build a house there, uh, you have the reverse of that. You have some subdivisions that, you know, they got a special section over there and uh, that's where they put the RV people. But they don't let the RVs, you know, hang around the houses uh, for more than three hours to where you can load them. Uh, the gardens is different. The gardens is one of the few places in America that was di designed exactly for RVers. And it, it actually, uh, there's only three, four, maybe five of them in the country like this. And, and the secret is, and it, it's, it's, it is a secret, but we'll tell it anyway, it's very hard to get one, a, a community like this started. The, my, my father happened to be a resort developer. Crossville is a resort town. We're a retirement town. The Cumberland Plateau here, one of the top places to retire in America. So we have a lot of retirement resorts. That's the business my father was in. He was an RVer, starting in 76. So he kind of married the two. And the last two projects that he did, uh, and I worked with him on, he always had a little place on the plats where he, we'd be developing the resort, but he'd always had a little place separated out. And he said, that's where I'm going to put my RV community. And he, we, he never got around to it until... 87. And in 87, uh, we sold our last resort, and I was doing other things. I, I, I published magazines, actually, before this. And uh, Dad retired. And he came to me and said, I'm going to do that RV subdivision we're talking about. And I said, well, hey, sounds good. So he came out here and he started it, and it took about five years before he sold anything. I mean, it, beautiful land. Beautiful models, he had everything set up. And as a seasoned resort developer, he really couldn't understand until he, until he got into it what was going on. But here's the secret as to why there are very, very few of these uh, subdivisions around. Is in most real estate sales, location is, you, you always hear it, location, location, location. That's the most important thing in real estate sales. Well, this isn't real estate. I mean, we are selling real estate here. But, the reality of what we're selling is the community. RVers, they've had real estate, they've had houses somewhere else. They've usually sold them and gone into RVing. They're not interested in the home, per se. They're interested in the community. So through all these videos of our owners, you'll hear them talk about the community, the community, the people here. That's what we have here. And that's why it is a little bit of a premium to buy in here. Um, our land is a little bit more expensive than the land, not that much, but a little bit more expensive than property you can buy here in the city of Crossville uh, because we are unique. It's a premier spot. There's only two or three of these in the country that are su successful. But it takes a long time to get them started because when my dad started this one, people would pull in their RV and they'd look around and say, oh, nice concept, beautiful land, great place. You don't have anybody here. <laughs> and they'd leave. <laughs> yeah. So it, it took him a while to... And some hardy souls, uh, you'll meet Joe Scudder in the videos. Uh, Joe is one of the first hardy souls that, that said, it, you know, I'm going to plant here and be here. But it took a while to get the community up. And once the community got up, then the gardens was established. Most land developers, subdivision developers, don't have the four or five years that they can make those note payments and they can sit there waiting for things to happen before you build the community. So a lot of these things get started, and you might see them in FMCMA magazine, uh, has starting up, but then they kind of disappear because what happens is the developer has decided he can't wait the four or five years and he's sold to regular homeowners. And you don't mix regular. We don't have a mixture here. We have a couple of homes here that are mother-in-law type homes. Uh, we have a couple of homes that are, I think there are a total of four homes here that don't have RV garages in the entire place. This is an RV community. We have people who have bought in here thinking it's cool. I like a big garage, but I'm not an RVer. They don't stay very long because everyone's interest here is RV. So even though we got the big garages and it's cool, if you're not an RVer, you kind of feel out of place here because these guys eat, sleep, drink RVs. In the afternoons, all the doors are open, everybody's out. This is a community. Even though these are city streets, we have a special understanding with uh, the city. 
I, we'll have RVs parked in the roads, washing them. I mean, where do you see that in America? Uh, on Saturday you'll, or Sunday, you'll drive through here a lot of times, and especially when they come back from a rally. You'll have 14 or 15 RVs just kind of placed in different areas around the community. Even though these are city streets, it's like, that's cool. The only problem about washing your RV on the city street is it's going to take you all day long because everybody coming by is going to have to talk to you, and you're going to have to talk to them. That's the only problem you have. So, an RV community is a special place. It's a community where you're welcome. It's a community where everyone here has already been on the trip you're, you're planning or is going to go with you. They're, they're, going to, they're going to watch your home while you're gone. They're going to know where you are. That's, a, that's another interesting thing about this community. Uh, you'll hear several people in the videos say secrets don't last here. There is no secrets here because everybody knows everything about everyone, where they are. When you're on the road, if you're, an R, if you're a Gardens RV owner and you're on the road, you will know who's in the community. You'll know where they're at. They'll know where you're at. If you have problems, you immediately have help. You immediately have friends. When you're at a rally, you've probably got um, 10, 12, uh, sometimes we'll send 16 up to 20 coaches to a single rally. So even when you're at an FMC rally or something, you have neighbors with you. And that's, that's very important in this phase three of our life when most of our kids are they're doing their own thing in their own lives. This becomes your family. And these people really care about you. They know, where, they know what's going on with you. They know, they know what's happening in your life. And uh, it's not a community that you will, you will know. And I can say this without a doubt. If you spend a month in this place, you will know everyone in every house in this community. Within five minutes, they'll know you. So I'd like to give you an invitation as a developer to come visit this community, park your motorhome on, on Homeless Hill, stay here. Don't make it a, a day drive trip. Stay here for two or three days. Uh, give us a call so a couple of weeks in advance. We'll make a spot for you. Sit here and participate in the community. Like I said, within five minutes of pulling in, they'll know who you are. As you walk these streets, you'll be surprised the first day you're here, most people you meet are going to know who you are also. Uh, they'll invite you in the homes. They'll talk to you. Um, they'll, they'll tell you what the garden means to them. Because you're an RVer, they're an RVer, and they're going to make sure that uh, you totally understand the benefits of living here. So give us a call. Come in. Stay a couple of days in Homeless Hill and experience what a true RV community is and what it's like to live in one that was built from the ground up as an RV community.